and girls, good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to pick up the camera just this afternoon um, to show you what I've just bought from Aldi. A few reasons. So one, cost of living at the moment and how expensive food is and everything. I want to show you what I'm doing to try and keep costs down as much as we can. So that's one reason why I wanted to pick up and film this little mini haul. Secondly, I am doing Slimmer World and losing weight um i've been at it since november and i've lost about a stone so it's also to show you what i buy to keep on track with slimming world and also my husband and i will both work full-time out of the home so what do we do to prepare for the week ahead for evening meals and also breakfast and lunches when we are at work all day which also ties in with trying to keep costs down and also Slimming World. So you see what I mean? They're all kind of rolled in together. So I have just got back from Aldi and just unloaded everything onto the sides. Um, so I'm just gonna move the camera around and show you. And also today is Sunday. So at the moment I've got a chicken roasting away in the oven and my veggies are all prepped on the hob. So that's dinner today. And um, I was toying with the idea of doing uh, Yorkshire puds with dinner today, but we're not going to today just because I've bought us a big, juicy, gorgeous looking apple strudel for dessert after and some custard. So we thought rather than overdoing it with too many fancy indulgences, we'll leave the Yorkshire puds today and we'll have a pudding instead. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you what we've bought today. I also forgot to just mention then was that I'm going to try really hard this week to do like a what I eat in a week kind of week long vlog. I don't know what's going on in my hair today. I am sorry, it's super duper greasy. So yeah, so I'm just show you what we're having today and then document through the week as well. Because right now I'm sort of showing you what I plan to do, but then I would like to show you I'm eating as well, if that makes sense. So here we go. So here is lunch today. We have a lovely chicken in here, roasting, if you can see. Um, that's just got on it some fry light, some salt, some pepper, and some, what did I put on it? I think it was thyme. So that's just doing its thing. How long's left on there? Let's have a quick look. 20-ish minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna get my veggies on quick. I'm just gonna do this now. So we've got some taters, so I'm gonna do some mash. We have got some swede. I don't want to come on. Then we've got some broccoli and some carrots. And I've also bought some kale, but I need to, I've got some spare pans somewhere, I need to find them. So anyway, back to the haul. So this is the overview of it all. I'll show you how much I spent towards the end. Um, so we've got some apple sauce for with um, the lunch today. With the chicken. We've got some raspberries. So I bought this because sometimes I do make overnight oats and I weigh my, my oats out. But, and then also I bought this protein granola with honey and seeds. I got some mature grated cheese, 50% light. That's really for me and Dan. And then just some cheap grated cheddar for Jesse because the way the, the boy gets through it, it's, you know, cheap and cheerful. Okay, so then we got some rainbow peppercorns and some more herbs that I'd run out of. So we've got some more garlic and some oregano. Then for the salads for through the week, uh, these were part of the Aldi, is it Super 6 to the call it, in the special offers? So I've got three of these little gems because I'm thinking sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then probably ready for buying some more fresh again. I've got two packs of the Sweet Vine Ripened Tomatoes, for in salads as well for lunch. Three pack of peppers. I've got two packs of the cooked beetroot, which is awesome in our salads. Uh, here's the kale. So I might use some of the kale in the lunch today and save some for in the salads. Then for dinner, well, our tea tomorrow night, we're going to do just a quick stir fry. It's so fast and easy. So I bought this, which doesn't seem very much for three people. But I also got some sugar snap peas, some bean sprouts, 
and I've got some uh, egg noodles I'm going to use as well and then chicken on top and I just do that with some soy sauce and uh, also for our salads cooked diced chicken and frozen sweet corn later on I will show you how I put my salads together but I have had people commenting how amazing the Logan. Honestly, they're just so easy. She's got some more milk and some custard for with the uh, pudding that we're having later. And I've also got this out of the fridge. I've had this ages. I'm hoping it's still okay. It looks a bit battered and bruised, but I think I might try and roast this today whilst the oven's on and then use this up in the salads for this week as well. Um, here's my receipt. I'll just put the extract on in a second getting a bit foggy in here so here's the receipt of everything that i bought i'm just going to, have to put this down so it can focus and this was where have i gone there 41.86 there we go so that's not everything quite for the week because i know some of this won't last all week hopefully it gets me through till sort of wednesday and then if i do like another little shot but it's um wait my pans are going crazy let's move over I just think at the moment it's really important to try and save money because it's quite shocking to me how expensive things are. Like if I happen to forget my lunch and I go and get something, say from Asda, salad, wrap, anything like that, bag of crisps, drink, that's like five, six pounds a day. And if Dan was spending the same, that's a lot of money. And you could buy your own and make it at home for a fraction of that cost so yeah that's that's the purpose of why we do what we do and um, so i'm just gonna go and finish lunch for today and then later on this afternoon once we've had a clear round and stuff um and it's time to start putting the salads together i shall pick the camera back up and bring you along so you can see how i do it I stand alone 
Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know
Saturday evening. It's that time of day. And, oh. <coughs> Wait there, music's gonna start. Turned it off already, but it restarts when the engine comes on. So, uh, yeah, so it's Monday evening and it's weigh time. So we are just off to Slimming World to go and get weighed and see how I've got on this week, or this past week, should I say. So I'll catch up with you in a little while and, yeah, let you know how we've got on this week. <laughs> So I just want to show you what is for lunch today. So we have a salad again, and then some yogurt and mint sauce, the Crucials, which is probably about a sin per what's there, and then a, and about a sin's worth of sriracha as well. So that is for lunch today. I'm just potting that up. And then for breakfast, because I didn't make any porridge last night, because I was out at Slimming World, we've just got some watermelon and kiwi. So that's it. Food for today. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you what I had last night, did I? So for tea last night, I just had some leftover Sunday dinner, which was just some boiled veg, carrot, swede, uh, carrot, swede, and broccoli, and then some chicken that was left, and a little bit of chicken gravy, and a tiny bit of apple sauce for flavour. And that was all I had last night. And so yeah, we're off to work. I don't know why, but I look so yellowy in this light. I think it is just the light bulbs. It's this one, isn't it? It's that one that just makes everything look yellow. If I come down here. Yeah, I still look yellow. <laughs> oh, I need to sort this out. This is ridiculous. So anyway, uh, day and time check. So it is Tuesday evening. Recently just got in from work, having called Aldi on my way home for some extra bits. Do I start my video saying anything other than that these days? Also, I just need to, let's just talk about this. Your girl has got a stone off. <laughs> finally made it, I finally lost a stone. I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, it's been a little bit slow at times just because I've not, you know, I've, 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 I've still enjoyed my life. I've been out and I've had fun and stuff. So it took a few weeks longer than what I would have liked, but it's fine because it's all good, isn't it? So I'm just fetching my shopping bag over, um, just with my little extra bits that I've bought just on the way home, which are, oh, so for tea tonight, we're doing uh, like a chicken stir fry kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to show you what I've got like for kids, there's no point. Oh, I've also got these for snacking on, I've just got some celery sticks and some hummus, like a fat free, no it's not fat free, I think it's low fat hummus uh, for taking to work and snacking on, so I'll be preparing those at some point. Then I've got some more kiwis, I've just got some boil in the bag long grain rice, I'm going to do one of those um with the stir fry tonight jesse's not eating with us tonight he's out with friends and he's going to like a local burger pizza place okay focus this focus is the bane of my life um i also got a great big bucket full of this greek style fat-free natural yogurt claims to be deliciously creamy and this is the kind of thing that I put in our overnight oats. I did make some overnight oats on, what did I do it? Was it Sunday for Monday? But instead of using just regular oats, I used the muesli that would be on an earlier part of our video. And I don't know why I did that, because it didn't work the same way that normal oats would work in an overnight oats. It ended up going like, you know if ever you've, left Weetabix too long in milk. It just went like that and it tasted like that. I mean, it was fine. I, I was perfectly happy with it and I counted my sins and everything else. But I think for Dan, because he has the same, he was expecting more of the usual overnight oats um, that we usually have. And it was like leftover Weetabix. But it's fine, it's still at it, it's still yummy. 
Also bought, oh I got these and I've not even checked the sin value so I will have to check on these. But I thought, you know, for either, I can't talk. You know, for having something like light, um, laughing cow. Well, that's what I'm trying to think what it's called. So either the light laughing cow or hummus or maybe a bit of peanut butter if I fancy something sweet. We'll see. I'm not too sure what the sin value of these will be. Should we have a look now? Have a check. Where's my phone? Let's have a little scanneroony. See what my little app says. So these are. Is that so? For each of these cakes, rice cake fingers is one and a half sins. So it's not bad, I guess. I hope they're going to be free. <laughs> It's also from the stir fry tonight. I've just got some spring onions. Dan obviously can't have them with them being allergic, but I love them. Then I've got some of this kind of fat free Greek yogurt because just for, I don't know. This is all right if you need like a looser yogurt texture and this is, you know, the nice firm stuff. Both, no percent fat. Then I've bought a bag of Baby Bell Lights just also for kind of snacking on. I thought I could make like a Slimming World friendly plowman's kind of grazing platter, you know, pickled onions, mini baby bells, gherkins, bits like that. Maybe some of these for a bit of crunch. I think sometimes on a night, I've always been a savoury kind of girl and I've always liked crisps, so on a night if I feel like snacking anything, rather than like chocolate or something sweet, my go-to would normally be bag of crisps like salt and vinegar or pickled onion or something so for me it's more of that savoury flavour that I think I'm missing and that crunch it's the crunch isn't it? it's like that so yeah pickled onions is awesome then I got the reduced fat hummus some more chickpeas I think I've got plenty but I didn't want to chance it these are just really for um I'm thinking like if I do a curry Mind it doing like a chicken and chickpea curry. Then I've got some blueberries for in the overnight oats. And lastly, after toothpaste, lastly, this big sucker. I've already got, I've just seen, I've already got a big watermelon over there. But it's fine because one of these lasts two of us for two days and Jesse also snacks on it. So we have plenty. So there we are. I know you can't see it now. Let me just move you on so you can see. So this is uh, what we got today. And again, it's just really to put us on a little while. Yes, we know you're there. You say hello. Hello to everybody. Hello. Oh, you just headbutted the camera, you little divvy. What's the matter, little Sasha baby doggy? Would you like your dinner? Would you like your dinner? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, puppy doggy? Are you hungry as well, darling? I think that means I've got to feed the dogs. 